Welcome to another video from the Cobot Tutorials channel. It surprises me how many people do not realize this is a feature ready for setup embed, also known as custom embeds or regular embeds for Cobot. If you have Cobot and you have a few add-ons or a few default commands, you may realize you want to change some of the messages. Ever thought how? Let's say I want to run a disable command, so .d. Custom add-on for no reason. It says, hello world. Let's say you want to add a description to that. Most people didn't realize you could. But if you go into the configuration file, you can add, as you can see, it already says title. If you just tab across and type in description, this is a description, and restart the bar, I give it a moment. Go back to Discord, run the command again. There's now a description. This surprises me how many people did not know that. The available properties for this is title, description, footer, photo icon, timestamp, thumbnail, author, author icon, color, image, URL, fields. So if we go back to the configuration file, right, we've added title and description. So if we want to add a footer, then hi. Want to add a timestamp? Sure. This is boolean. It can either be false or true. But if you don't want it, you can just remove it as well. So that also works. If you want to add a footer icon, sure. Just make sure this is a valid image URL. Or in most commands in Cobalt, you should be able to use discord-pfp for the profile picture link. Thumbnail. Sure, let's add a random thumbnail. If we go on Google and we'll quickly just search um, image, image lol. Yep, this image seems good enough to me. Right click, copy, address, move this back away, paste the thumbnail in. What else could we add? We could add author. This is basically another title that just goes in a different location. You could also add author icon. Let's add the same one, a Discord PFP for my profile picture. You could also add color. This is a hex color normally. I'm not going to do this, but I will show you how to. Just open Google and do hex color picker. Should we all do it? Let's say we want a nice bright green. Not very nice, but here we are, 2021. You can do what you want these days. If I move this back over here. I don't care how slow this video is. Right, add a color, awesome. Wanna add an image? Sure, you can add an image as well. Let's do our bot. What else do you wanna add? Do you wanna add a URL? Sure, why not? Dot com. As you can see, we've added all these. And if we go to the bot and restart the bot, wait for the bot to start and type dot D. As you can see, it's added a bunch of Right, there's one last one you can add. If you type in fields, like that, down, then click tab. If you do dash name, semicolon, then you do some quotes, and you put general information. You can also add a value. Make sure it's under the name, in line with this. Boop, boop. Make sure it's in line. And the value, let's do, we wish you a Merry Christmas. In line, yeah, let's have it in line. Let's copy it a few times. And let's say we don't want this one in line. Sure, we can have it on new line. If you go and resell your bot, then type dot D. As you can see, we've added a bunch of fields. Uh, if you click this link, this brings you to the link that we set in the configuration file. Uh, the URL, there it is. But yeah, it's pretty simple. I'm not sure why many people did not know this. But then it's not also on the docs, so that might be helpful. Too bad I'm not staffed now. So I can't do it. Well, anyways, have a smash night and drink your cup of tea.